Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to bootstrap a Linux instance on AWS. So I've logged into my AWS console here, and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Services, and I'm going to click on EC2. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to launch an instance. So I'm going to click the Launch Instance button. And when this loads up, I'm going to click on the Amazon Linux AMI. I'm going to click Select. I'm going to leave it to T2 Micro because it's free tier eligible. I'm going to click Next to configure the instance details. I'm going to leave all these as the defaults because I want it um, publicly available. I want to leave them the default VPC. And I'm just going to scroll down here to where it says Advanced Details. And I'm going to expand this. And we can see there's a User Data section. So I have a script here on the clipboard. Let me paste this in. So let's see, we can see what this is doing here. So I've been bash the shebang just to let it know uh, it's using bash. I want to install Apache. I want to then start Apache because this is a test. I'm just going to stop the firewall and I'm going to CD into the Apache home directory and I'm going to echo this is my test site into index.html to bring up a website. Okay, I'm going to click next to add storage. I'm going to leave all this as the default. I'll add a name for this, so I'm just going to call it name, and I'm going to call it uh, my test server. Okay, and we'll click next to configure the security group. Um, I already have a security group here, that should do the job for me. I just want port 80 available from everywhere, so you can create a security group. Um, you can do it here, let me just do it really quick so you guys can see it. So custom TCP rule, port 80, and I want it available from everywhere. Okay, I'm going to click review and launch, and I am going to click launch here to launch my instance. I already have a key pair, but we actually won't need to be logging into this, so I'm going to say proceed without a key pair. I'm going to launch. Okay, and we can see our instance is launching here. So let me pause the video just momentarily while this launches. Okay, this looks good here. My instance is now in a running state. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this public IP here. I'm going to paste it into another tab. And perfect, you can see it worked. We now have our web server with Apache installed and it's made our index.html. I'll leave uh, that bit of code where you can just copy and paste it. I'll leave it in the description below. And if this video was useful, please do like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.